Imagine standing on the very edge of everything. Beyond you, no planets, no stars, no light. Not even time itself. Just nothing. But what is this so-called edge of the universe? Is there a wall, a border, a point of no return? And if there's an edge, what lies beyond it? Today we're going on a journey. 46 billion light years outward to the very frontier of human understanding. And what we will find there might just change how you think about beginnings, endings and reality itself. Let's begin with what we can see. Our universe, at least the observable part of it, stretches about 93 billion light years across. It contains everything we've ever seen. Galaxies, nebulae, stars, planets, you might ask, wait, if the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it be 93 billion light years wide? Good question. The answer lies in expansion. As light travels toward us from the farthest galaxies, the universe itself is stretching. Those galaxies have been racing away from us for billions and billions of years. And by the time their light finally reaches us, they are far beyond where they started. The further we look, the faster things appear to move away. That means the edge of our universe isn't really an edge, it's a horizon, a limit. The farthest point from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. And beyond that, we simply don't know. Not because there is nothing there, but because the light hasn't arrived yet. What lies beyond? Let's use a metaphor. Picture a balloon with tiny dots on its surface, each dot a galaxy. As you blow up the balloon, the surface expands and the dots move apart. Not because they're crawling across the surface, but because the surface itself is growing. Now imagine you're an ant on that balloon. You can walk forever and never reach an edge. Just more surface. That's a good way to think about our universe. According to current models, the universe is flat, on large scales, not curved like a sphere and not folded like a donut. It might be infinite, or it might just look that way from our perspective inside it. But again, we run into the boundary, the cosmic light horizon. Beyond it, we can't see. So what is there? Well, here's where things get interesting. Some physicists believe the universe continues beyond our horizon, perhaps endlessly, with more galaxies, more stars, more planets, maybe even more life. Others go further. What if beyond that horizon lies a completely different bubble of space-time? A universe with its own laws of physics, its own constants, its own particles. That's the multiverse theory. And according to some versions of inflation theory, it's entirely possible. In this view, our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam, where new universes are constantly forming and expanding, each separated from the others by regions of inflating space. If that's true, then beyond our edge is nothing, it's like everything. A chaotic sea of alternate realities most of which we can never reach or even detect. The James Webb twist. Here is where the story takes a surprising turn. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful observatory ever launched, detected something strange. Galaxies that appear too large, too complex and too bright to exist so early after the Big Bang. These galaxies shouldn't be there. According to our models, galaxies take hundreds of millions, even billions of years to form. Yet, Webb saw them just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. So what's going on? Are our models wrong? Or is something bigger happening? Some cosmologists are starting to wonder, are we seeing ghosts from a previous universe? Could our universe be part of a cycle, expanding, collapsing and rebirthing again and again and again? 
or is something leaking into our universe from another realm entirely? Cold spots and cosmic scars. Let's zoom out in one particular mystery. The CMB cold spot. A large, unusually empty region in the cosmic microwave background. It's colder than it should be. And eerily quiet. Some scientists believe this might be the result of a supervoid. A vast region of space with fewer galaxies. But others have suggested something bolder. That the cold spot is actually a bruise. A scar. The aftershock of a collision between our universe and another. In multiverse models these collisions are possible. Two bubbles of spacetime brushing against each other and leaving ripples. Anomalies, strange patterns in the very fabric of our reality. And we might just be looking at one. The edge within. So is there an edge to the universe? Not a wall, not a barrier, just a limit of time, light and understanding. What lies beyond that? Maybe endless space, maybe another universe, maybe nothing we can ever imagine. It's a symbol of curiosity, of exploration, of the desire to go further than we've ever gone before. It's not just out there, it's in here, in the human mind. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know, the universe keeps expanding. And so must we. Every time we build a new telescope, discover a new particle or ask better questions, we push the horizon just a little further. Thanks for watching Event Horizon Daily. If this blew your mind or just gave you something to think about, subscribe and come back tomorrow. We post every day. Until then, stay curious and keep looking up.